You're going to show up to your 8 a.m. class and you're going to be sitting there and you're like, huh, why is nobody here? Well, maybe because you were the only person in class that did not check your email. True story. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Courtney Rain. I make videos um, about beauty and fashion, and I have like a college series. I also have playlists uh, too that it categorizes them by lookbooks, fashion, beauty, college, acne, all that fun stuff, you know? So if you're interested in that, go ahead and uh, click the subscribe button down below. But today is another video going along with my college series, and this is just going to be 10 generic tips that I think are going to really benefit you while you're here at college. Okay, so the very first tip that I want to go ahead and tell you is plan library time. Work it into your schedule as if it's actually like a class. Let's say you have class at 9 and you have class at 11. Well, at 10 o'clock, go to the library and just kind of get that into your routine, almost like, oh no, like, oh, I can't go to lunch, I have to go to the library. Your freshman year, I don't know if you're gonna know what a syllabus is, uh, it's literally flat out going to lay the semester out on a piece of paper. It's going to give you every date of every exam, when the assignments are due, and that's really important because it'll tell you the attendance policy, um, because some professors you know, you're only allowed to miss two days, some you're only allowed to miss three, some they don't have an attendance policy. Tip number three kind of goes along with that, but every professor on their syllabus is going to say office hours. They're required to have office hours. So just go ahead, look at it, and then actually go to their office hours. Just go in, say, hi, my name's Courtney. I'm in your organizational behavior class. Boom. You just made a connection with one of your professors and they will not, I mean they might forget your name, um, but they're not going to forget you, which is so beneficial whenever you have a 89% and you know, they might take that into consideration so they might bump you up to an A. The fourth tip that I have for you is join organizations. So through those organizations you are going to build your friends and you know, these lifelong skills that are gonna help you get a job one day and you're gonna get references and you're gonna meet like you're sort of gonna network through those organizations but also it's a lot of fun um, so for me with the in Slippery Rock University I joined the Green and White Society I'm in WSRU TV which is our news station I guess they're not really organizations but I'm involved in other stuff too like I I'm a peer leader I'm a tour guide different things like that um, that allowed me to not only meet my best friends, uh, also, you know, step out of my comfort zone. I do things like, like, you know, I, I public speak and whenever I went to college, I guess I never thought of myself um, speaking in front of 1,500 people at the freshman pep rally, but, um, you know, through those organizations, I had those opportunities. Tip five, although this kind of goes against um, your university, but you don't have to buy the book at the bookstore. Um, there's other alternatives if um, you know financially you can't afford it. So there are PDF files out there that sometimes you can just Google up the book and a PDF file will come up of the book. Um, there's ebooks, you can rent books from Chegg, um, and sometimes you could just buy them off Amazon for or Amazon for a lot cheaper. Wait about two weeks before you actually buy your book. So within the first week, you're going to find out whether or not you actually need the book, and then go ahead and order it after that first week because you don't really need it until the second week of school. The sixth thing that I would definitely want to go ahead and tell you is don't be afraid to do things on your own. Go watch a movie by yourself. Go to Starbucks by yourself. Go to the library by yourself. Um, if you're interested in WSRU TV, if your friends don't want to join it, go by yourself. Tip seven is like the most important tip. I would underline this if I were you, is get an agenda. Um, if you're going to be involved on campus and you're gonna be in Greek life and you know, all these different things, oh, Everything will get crazy. You'll end up making all these plans with your friends and then you'll get a text message at seven o'clock and they'll be like, hey, where are you? And you're like, oh, that was today. And it's just really, really awkward. Um, it just makes you a lot more organized. You can write down straight from the syllabus. You can write all of the assignments when they're due in your agenda. So then whenever you're looking at your agenda, you're like, oh, I have an assignment tomorrow, huh? 
and then you already know that it's due tomorrow. So it's extremely handy. The next one I want to say is utilize your resources. So you have tuition and then you have student fees. Your student fees include a lot. That includes the health center, that includes your counseling center, the um, tutoring center, uh, career education and development, the writing center, the research center. It incorporates all of these different things if you're paying for them. Eat healthy. So there's always this myth of freshman 15 and it's not a myth, it's actually it's true. I, I didn't have freshman 15 but I did have like freshman 10 but um, you know Eat Healthy has so many healthy options, you just have to actually look for them. Because as appetizing as the hot dog and the hamburger and the french fries are, and the pizza and the dessert and the breakfast omelets, they're amazing, but you know, you have to look for those healthier foods. Like, you know, you, you can't eat that all the time. And check your email. So I think a lot of freshmen deal with this issue is they don't check their email. And just a bonus tip for you, just have fun. College is the best time of your life. It is by far the best time of your life. You know, as much as you wanna have great grades, just remember that you're not gonna remember the nights that you stayed up studying. You're not gonna remember the A on your bio exam. You're gonna remember those nights that you stayed up late with your friends and, you know, pulled an all-nighter or, or those nights that you had bowling with your friends or, you know, that Friday night that you hung out with that guy that you never thought you were gonna talk to. Those are the memories that you're gonna remember forever. Keep that in mind uh, and just have fun. So those are my tips for you and I hope that I helped in some way, shape, or form. <laughs> um, I hope that I did. Bye guys.